Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsosti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft Wizard Mining. And in the episode before last, where we went out to the ocean monument, I had to brew some potions and I noticed we don't have any mushroom for fermented spirals. So I went to the nether roof to collect me some but that of course is not sustainable so that's why we will build a mushroom farm today and uh, first we need a bit of uh, of potzel uh, which is a bit tricky because we cannot just mine but what we can do is basically place blocks down and then mine those blocks that we have uh, placed down and should those blocks happen to change while they place are placed down well there's nothing to it and we can turn dirt into potzel by growing uh, uh, two by two spruce tree on top so if we uh, lay out a bit of uh, an area of dirt here hopefully we can uh, create quite a bit of uh, of potzel uh, that way and then we can get on with the uh, actual farm we will build this farm here in our Taipei 101 ground floor because we have the space here and I have to warn you it's a design of my own because over the last few episodes uh, I came to the realization uh, all the spilling of nice skyscrapers and other farms um, that are basically someone else work it does not really add that much uh, a creativity aspect uh, to it and at least for me that's that's the core aspect of this game so that's why I today give you the hot ST mushroom farm and we will build this up stage by stage so you basically can follow along so let's get into it i hope i have all the materials uh, down here and of course it can be scaled down um, but the the main thing with uh, mushroom farms is they are not that fast so basically having a large farm um, counteracts that a bit but let's first put in the collection system down here and that's the collection system as you can see from the uh, the diamond shape uh, shape uh, we will have uh, basically a square turned 45 degrees and on here we can have uh, Hopper minecart collecting everything that then basically gets sucked up uh, here in this hopper and into into the chest and this farm is not really that efficient so tests have shown that uh, it takes about three hours to get one stack of brown mushrooms but we do not need that large amounts and uh, with this farm constantly running I think we get the supply that that we need so next step is actually not the the farm itself but the the harvesting mechanism because that's uh pistons that are facing downwards so uh, 
it can be a bit awkward to uh, to place them if you don't have uh, the, the, the space to do that from below so uh, let's do that next and uh, then we can uh, basically plot in the uh, the farming area and make sure that it's ready to grow mushrooms the pistons are placed and you can see there are some holes in here and that's basically where we'll have the uh, the spawning mushroom down below so the mushroom glowing on top of here will never be harvested but everything around will and mushrooms tend to grow in any free uh, spots around them uh, given that there are not too many mushrooms around so that's why these holes are quite a bit spread out probably we could do with a few more uh, spawning mushrooms but i think that will do and now it also becomes apparent why we have this diamond shape because that basically allow us to have a one mechanism here somewhere in the center that powers all the pistons at once but next step here is uh, really below each piston uh, we want to have uh, mycelium block on which we can uh, then place the uh, the <coughs> the mushroom and mycelium is not really necessary but on uh, on my potzel this is potzel not mycelium on potzel you can plant uh, the mushrooms at any light level so you don't have to worry about it being dark enough so you can actually plant them makes life a single a, a little bit easier uh, to do it you could also use dirt here but let me place uh, this layer uh, then we can plant the mushrooms plug up the hole and do the mechanism that's needed uh, for for the for the harvesting for triggering the the pistons and we will also need uh, to have a bit of tinted glass around here so we can keep everything in there nice and dark to have optimal growing conditions for the mushrooms all right then let me finish that part and we will see about that redstone everything is planted everything is darkened up the holes up here are closed and we have redstone everywhere and the way we trigger this is by using this hop server and uh, basically every time um, this redstone changes it will trigger and all the piston will fire and as the fungus is growing slowly we do not need this to activate all that often and uh, for that reason I decided uh, let's do a bit of a different timer using a trapdoor on which we dispense an item and once that item uh, despawns which happens after five minutes we will trigger once so basically uh, we have a harvest every five minutes and that should be uh, uh, plenty enough of course you could also do a different mechanism uh, to do the, the the harvesting 
uh, like uh, hook it up to an ESA hopper clock or something something different but you basically have to have something that triggers the pistons so let me finish up this part here and then we can see what I actually mean this looks promising we have a cold stone sitting there on the pressure plate waiting to despawn and once that happens the pressure plate is not weighted down anymore which means we don't have this redstone line powered which triggers the observer uh, triggering all the pistons for potential harvesting of mushrooms like there and actually it's a double pulse because we also then light on this torch which will dispense a new cobblestone and that then basically turns the redstone line on where we get the second pulse out and we have here a double chest or almost a double chest full of cobblestone so that will last us a while and I'm not thinking that we had any uh, mushrooms harvested yet no probably the uh, the minecart is still on its first journey after after the harvest so it takes a while uh, for it to make its its whole way through uh, but as I said it's not a super fast form but I think it will do because we don't need that many mushrooms. We only need a little bit for our brewing and uh, that should be good. Oh, one mushroom has already been harvested. Great. So with that, I will leave you for today. Uh, I had great form, fun creating this form and uh, we will continue in a similar fashion next time. Until then, goodbye!